Hello everyone, my name is Marcel Gagné and you are looking at Minecraft Pocket Edition running on my Android tablet. What I want to show you today is how you can run your own Minecraft Pocket Edition server so that basically you can play on not only your own tablet on your own server but also invite other people to play on your server. So if you've got friends and family and they've all got tablets and they all want to get together and play in the same world even if they're not in the same room or for that matter in the same house but sitting across the internet you can do that. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you however is how you add a server and then I'll show you how you go about creating that server. So we're going to do this sort of backwards but this is how it happens. Take a look at the bottom right hand corner that little wrench and screwdriver icon down there. Just touch that and that will bring up the game options. Now the first thing I'm going to have you do is change the name. By default it says Steve but unless of course your name happens to be Steve or you just happen to like that name you might want to change it to something else. Now I'm going to change mine to Marcel because that just happens to be my name. You might want to just use your own name or if you happen to have a game name that you like like oh I don't know um, Creeper Warrior or something like that you might want to put it in there. Anyway so let's go back and now touch play and you'll notice that I don't have any world set up. Now we could create something here which is something we'd have local and we could for that matter have a local server running on a tablet so that you know somebody sitting across the room from you might be able to play with you but that doesn't work A on all tablets and uh, B that doesn't provide you with a server that you can access across the internet. So let's touch edit and you'll see that a button pops up that says external. This is where we create the link to the external server. So touch the external button and now you've got a server name. I'm going to call this one, oh I don't know, just something random like the Red Room. I don't know what that really means but that's going to be the name of my server, the Red Room. And I'm going to say done and you'll notice that the address down here is a localhost address. Obviously we don't want that and at the moment I'm not going to show you a server that's on the internet but I'm going to change this so that it's a server on my own internal network. So 192.168.1.16 is the Linux box on which my uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition server is running. Click done and then you'll notice port 19132. Now that's the default port. You could have it running on 133, 134 and um, a good reason for that might be to run multiple servers which is uh, something I'm doing here in the house. I've got a development server, an alpha server and of course I might have, I might want different worlds you know sitting in different states of creation or destruction for that matter that other people can connect to. So click the, or touch rather, the add server button and you'll notice now that I've got in my list of uh, worlds, I've got the red room at 192.168.1.16 and if I touch that I should connect to my existing server. So let's do it. Touch. Generating world and there we are. This is a world that I've already created and um, and uh, there's my little house that's there. I've got a little house out back that's basically uh, full of full of cakes in case I get hungry or you know my strength goes down. There's uh, the house that I've built on. Whoops. There's the house I've built on this particular world and uh, and um, it's made out of nice uh, nice emerald blocks with cobblestone on the bottom and nice glass blocks on the ceiling. Yes I cheated a little bit. I went into creative mode to get some of these pieces but there's also neat things that you can do. Actually I did not go into creative mode. I lied because one of the things you can do on the server is you can give yourself all sorts of cool items like oh a whole pile of emerald blocks for instance to build with. But like I said that's something for another time. Anyway uh, there are my beds down there and of course uh, we can wander around this world and uh, check out all the various things that I've already built here. Um, travel around, uh, check out cool things like uh, you know a cave system or a, you know a mine system that I'm already working on in here and so forth and um, basically uh, you know have a good time in my little Minecraft world and of course invite other people uh, to come and play with me in this world. Um, on my very own Minecraft personal edition server which, um, which is uh, what we're going to talk about next time. So until then, bye!